what is up YouTube this is my first YouTube video so part of me I'm just starting to get into this I know my camera isn't that good I'm using my phone camera uh, but hopefully I'd be able to upgrade sometime soon I just this is my first video I uploaded a video before but not that good of a video but um yep this is pretty much a grail of mine uh, if you know me I've wanted this shoe for a about three to four years so it took me that long to be able to pick these up for a reasonable price my size and yeah um there is another pair on ebay for 250 in a size eight which is a woman's nine and a half because this is a women's release but um yeah so let's get into it i'll just show you the box first it's, so you know this is jordan face box you know they don't make these boxes anymore. I feel like the 2000 era was probably the best releases. All the 11s came out that year. And I actually have these in a glass box. These did re-retro last year in 2015. But uh, that model, when they first said that they were re-releasing these, I got so hyped until the actual release date because... They were the shittiest pair ever, I'll just be honest with you. But these are the Citrus 11s from the year 2000. Um, you know, the 2015 pair was horrible. It didn't even have real carbon fiber. It had, like, this, like, orange, like, plastic. I mean, th I know that's what carbon fiber is, but, like, it was just, like, horrible. Um, then the citrus color was like it was like a bright orange while this is like kind of a translucent the other one was just like a solid it wasn't like translucent like you can still see the jordan jump man right there and then the carbon fiber underneath um yeah you could barely find any pairs on ebay or anywhere it was really hard for me to track down this pair in a good condition and for a reasonable price um yeah i don't know i know there's a lot of like shit in there but Jumpman still fully intact in both, but um, main flaw on these, I guess, is just a little sole separation, but like not horrible. I could still wear these. Um, a lot of people would say yellowing as a main flaw, but honestly, in my opinion, I love that cream color. These make the cream makes them look a lot better, and that's another thing that the 2015 pair won't have because they they're obviously new, so. They're not going to have um, yellowing. Then another thing that I love is like the leather on here. On this side, I'd be honest, it's a little stiff, but I feel like the leather is still good. It's just like stiff, but I feel like that's because the shoe's 16 years old. It's not always going to be good, but on the tongue, it's like really nice and plush. But yeah, this was a grail of mine. I'm so happy to get this. Um... In my size, I will be wearing these. Um, I'm debating if I should get the other size 8 pair because these are 7.5. And, and I feel like every time I see a pair of these and for in a good condition and a good price, I should pick them up. But yeah, now into the beauty shots. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. My Instagram is fuck, f v c k underscore underscore Kyle. My name. Um, yes, please like this so I know you guys like my content and I can make more things like this. And if you want an on foot, just let me know. I'll make another video. I wasn't sure, and right now I don't have another person to do the on foot part because normally it takes two people to do the on foot, but. Yeah, just wanted to let you know because I don't want to make bad content for the on foot. That's why I wasn't sure. So if you guys do want it on foot, just hit me up on Instagram or leave a comment because I will check the comments. But yes, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And there will be more content like this and more exclusive samples, PEs, and more exclusive shoes on here. So thank you for watching this and good luck. Bye.